there and welcome to another episode of Live Your Life by the Numbers. Today, we're going to discuss the universal vibration for the year 2024. I'm going to show you how you compute it. And then I'm going to show you how you compute your own personal year vibration from that universal vibration. So let's get started and let's do a deep dive so I can share my screen with you. 2022 equals a 24 six year. Now we know that if we add two plus zero plus two plus two, that equals six. So we are in a six universal year. Everybody all around the world everybody's in a six universal year and the vibrations of that six universal year affect everyone. Now, where do I get, how do I get, where do I get, how do I arrive at the double digit number that 2022 is a 24 slash six personal year. And what is the number 24? represent i'm going to show you numerologists really can can um, predict more by going to the numbers before the double digit numbers before those numbers are reduced to a single digit so how do we do that when we have huge numbers like 2022 well we slice 2,000 and a half, and then we add two plus two, which is the number four, and we add the number four to the number 20, and 20 plus two plus two equals 24. Let's look at next year. Next year, the universal year will be one year more. 2023. So what will that universal year be? If we add two plus zero plus two plus three, we get to, we come to a seven universal year, which I will be really describing the elements of that 2023 year more towards the end of the year. But right now I'll show you that next year, the, as a numerologist, I will compute what kind of seven universal year it is by slicing the number 20 in half and then adding two plus three, which is a five, adding the five to the number 20. And next year, 2023, will represent for all of us a 25 slash seven universal year. Now, on the universal level in the 24, six year, we can expect because it's a six. Six represents love, home and family, adjustments that must be made to your home and family. And how is that done? Well, we don't have to go far. Let's think of the Ukraine. Here in the United States, we may be having a wonderful year, but to the people of Ukraine, there are tremendous adjustments in their life. Some people are moving out. Some people are becoming fighters. Some people are protecting their homes. Food has a shortage there. We're beginning to see a little bit of a shortage with that inflation that we're experiencing of a very high number right here in the United States. And Europe, we know, has a, a, their inflationary number has grown a little bit. Govern governments, though, are going to be more, uh, going to show a more conciliatory approach to each other for the good of all. And when I say a conciliatory approach, I'm looking at, for an example, NATO and how the, num the countries have come together that are members of NATO to help Ukraine 
um, really exist under this violent invasion that it's experiencing from Putin and the Russians. They are helping them with defense, with armaments. They're also helping with sanctions. Now, on a universal level this year, money will be used more to educate children. Um, it will be used for the education of children and protection of children and their safety for the health of children. Laws will be discussed, future laws promoted to ban certain types of guns and rifles that you know are being used to uh, attack children in the classroom. Think of also women and families and family issues. We're going to see a decision come any day now, or we're in the month of June, by the end of June of 2024, the Supreme Court should be coming down with either the exact Roe v. Wade decision that we saw leaked or some kind of version of that change in Roe v. Wade coming out of another um, decision. Citizens are gonna find themselves being responsible for each other. And we see this by many families in the United States being very, very helpful to people from Ukraine that are coming here to families in the United States to help them. And perhaps our immigration laws may be adjusted in some way to help people that are suffering in other countries. I think we're gonna see the marriage rate go up because it is a marriage year or people coming together. If they're not married, definitely the rate at which people are living together increased as well. Um, as I mentioned, home and family and love, the element of love, love of mankind, love of each other. Is another, these, are, these are descriptive words for some issues that are going to be discussed on a, a, a deeper level this year. It will be a fortunate time for many people in homes and families because of, in the United States at least, and that's because members of the people, members of our citizenry in the United States have saved a lot of money during the pandemic because they really couldn't go anywhere. So they say there is at least a trillion plus dollars that is being saved right now in June of 2022 in the bank accounts of people. So there is more money. Now there, there is also more money that people are paying at the pump for gasoline and the cost of food has gone up, but people do have more money to spend. So it is successful in many ways on a financial year for Americans, at least, we see that uh, there is a trillion of, or a few trillion dollars that has been saved statistically and people can afford to be more generous. Your life may appear to be more relaxed and more abundant as you reap the rewards of what you have harvested in former years and you can be more gracious at least to others. Now, the universal year 24-6 melts into the personal year vibration that each one of us are experiencing. So we are living on two vibrational levels, most of us. We're living on a 24-6 universal year, and many of us are living in the vibrations of their personal years. These universal years, the universal vibration runs from January to December, and the personal year vibration for each of us also year, runs from January to December. So these two vibrations mix and 
in each one of us, we see elements of the six personal year, the 24 six personal year, as well as our own personal years. That was the 24 six universal year and our own personal year vibration. Now, how would we compute the personal year, our own individual personal year vibration? Well, that's easy. We add our own month and year, month and day of birth, your month and day of birth to the number 24, which is the number of the universal vibration. So if you are born December 28th, as I am, you would add 12 plus 28 to the number 24, universal year number, and that would total the number 64. And then for someone like myself, who's born December 28th, with that 64 personal number, number that it adds up to, if we add six plus four, we come to the number 10. If we add one plus zero, we come to the number one. So someone born on December 28th, they would be experiencing a 64 or a 10 or a one personal year. Why, this, why am I leaving the 64 personal year up? Because I want to see, I want to show you that the type of one personal year that I'm experiencing right now, which is a brand new cycle in a nine year cycle, it's my one year. I wanna show you the type of one year I'm experiencing because it comes from the number 64. So on one level, the 64 represents, the six represents home and family, the six represents heavy responsibility. The six also represents the number of voice. Here I am on a podcast speaking to you. The six represents my number of voice also in court because I'm a litigator during the day. By avocation, I'm teaching you the elements of numerology. But by day, my day job, my vocational job, is that of a litigator in trust and estates and elder law and public, and, and public health law, mental health law. So I've got a lot of heavy responsibility on me this year. And plus, I'm enjoying what I'm doing in teaching you. Now, the four means I'm putting a foundation under everything. So home and family-wise, I'm putting my grandson through law school. In my business, I'm upgrading it because business is opening vocationally because the courts are beginning to open up now because COVID is easing up. I'm putting a foundation underneath what I'm showing you on each episode of Live Your Life by the Numbers. And I decided this year to put everything I knew up there in a podcast for all of you to learn. So it's a pretty heavy year for one year for me as a personal year. But it's an exciting one year filled with responsibility that I'm thoroughly enjoying what I'm doing. Now, let's take a look at Donald Trump's number. Because Donald Trump is born 614. So how do we arrive at the personal year for Donald Trump? We add six plus 14 to the number 24, which is the universal vibration for everybody out there. And we see for the year 2022, Donald Trump is living in a 44-8 master vibration why do I say he's living in a 44-8 
master year because I've already taught you how to compute the number 44 and the number 44 is a master number. So he's moving and working at a very, very high master personal year of the eight personal year because four plus four reduces down to an eight when we're computing one's personal year. So what would happen in a number 44, eight personal year? Well, he's clearly all over the place on a master year. He's considering whether he's gonna run for president. He's also got responsibilities on a master level for the country as the head of the Republican party. He's got many speaking engagements. He's got massive engagements also with respect to the legal system. He's making decisions on the professional level as to whether or not he wants to run for president or, or also he's facing the possibility of many legal challenges that currently exist on the legal level. Now, within your personal year, we can also compute your personal months. How do we do that? That's easy also. Each of the months of the year have a numeric vibration that they vibrate to. January's the first month of the year. So you would add the number one to whatever your personal year ends up to be. So for Donald Trump, the number one personal month would be January, we would add that number to Donald Trump's 44. January, we would add a one to whatever your personal year is. So one added to Donald Trump's 44 personal year for the month of January, Donald Trump would be living in a 45 personal month or the number nine personal month because four plus five equals nine. If we add two to the number 44 because February is always the second month of the year and March is always the third, April's the fourth, May's the fifth, Right now we're in June, that's the 6th. July is always the 7th. August is always the 8th. September is always the 9th. October is always a 10 or a 1. November is always an 11-2 and 12 is a 3. So we would add a 1 to 44, Donald Trump's personal year. And in January, he would be living in a 45-9 personal vibration. He, he would be ending things because the nine represents an ending number. And a 45-9 represents, well, it's a learning experience. I've gotten this far. Let me see where else I'm going. Sometimes the 45-9 isn't, you know, a gleeful picture, but it does mean I've learned lessons. February would be a 46 month. It would be a month where he does favors for other people and favors are returned to him. It would be a 46 one month because four plus six equals one. March would be a, a master number, the 47 master number. It would be a very creative month, but he would not be able to really see the forest from the trees with the 47 because he'd be vibrating at a very high level. 48, he's finishing up projects that he's putting a foundation underneath. April would be a 48 month, why? Because when we add four for the month of April, 
to 44, which is also his personal year, four plus 44 equals 48. May would be 49. He could be bringing, coming into a lot of money in the month of May with his politicking for his own, filling his own coffers. June, the month we're in right now, the month I'm taping this, would be a 50, 50 month. It would be a month of progress. It would be a progressive month. A month of mobility. He might be out there probably early in the month um, campaigning for other people. It's got that zero from 50 in it because five plus um, uh, in the month of June, six plus 44 equals 50. Now, it's got some cosmic protection to it. It's a very fast moving month. So we'll have to wait and see how the month bears out for him, but it's going to be a very, very active month where he may be flying all over, talking to a lot of people, holding a lot of meetings, doing two things because the five represents more than one thing happening at one time. In the month of July, he would be at a 51 month, which is a very militant month now. That's a very aggressive month, I know, because my last name vibrates to the number 51. And as you know, I am a fighter with words as a litigator. I go into court, I fight. I fight for other people's rights or I defend their rights. So we're going to see him highly militant, aggressive, argumentative in the month of July. In the month of August, he's going to be out of the way a little bit. Maybe he'll take a trip abroad. Maybe he's going to be out of the public eye for the most part, preparing things because in the month of September, things fly in and fly out of his life. It's a very um, exciting, unpredictable month that Donald Trump will be facing in the month of September. Why? Because the five describes the three. It's a very creative month, but it's a month where he's gonna be all over the place with something unforeseen will fly in, something unexpected will fly out. Anybody in a 53 personal year, you can sit back, anything can happen in a 53 dash five. 53, eight, five plus three equals eight. Personal year, a 53, eight personal month. And he's gonna be in an eight personal month in his nine year in the month of September, because the number nine added to any personal year will give you the number of the personal year. So nine plus 44, his personal year, equals an eight of 53, eight. The month of October, we would add 10 to 44, which equals a 54, personal month, that's an ending month for him as well. In any eight year, as we approach September, October, and November, we see things winding down as we're heading towards the nine personal year. So November would be 11, plus 44 is a 55 year. So we're going to see Donald Trump arrive at some kind of personal achievement in the month of November. And December is going to be a 56 month, which is 11 plus 44 is, no, excuse me, December is 12 plus 44 is a 56 month. And that is a month where people should really lay back, sit back 
and not trust everything they see. It's very important to analyze what you see happening, but don't trust what everybody tells you. And I'm going to be going through the personal vibrations for each of the months when we have a one and a two and a three and a four, all the way up to a nine personal year for you. But right now, today, I've taught you how to compute the universal year and how to compute your own personal year. Look, using my personal year as an example, and also Donald Trump's 44-8 personal year going down to each one of the months that he's going to experience personal vibrations this year. So if you've liked this show and you'd like to subscribe to more shows, just hit subscribe down there and send me some message of what you'd like me to show you or teach you. This show is here for you. It's a gift to you. So please let me know if you've liked it and give me any suggestions you might have. As you know, I'm not doing readings, so don't believe it if anybody tells you that they've received a reading from me. I do have books up there, and they're up on Amazon for you, two volumes of Live Your Life by the Numbers. Easy, easy to read. A children's book, Raise Your Kids by the Numbers, and a book on the double digits, How to Read Them. So I really appreciate you coming today and visiting with me. Remember that today is more precious than you know, and don't forget to live each day by the numbers. I shall see you soon for another episode. Bye for now.